Well, these temperatures, it's certainly felt like summer. We'll see those warm temperatures stick around for your Friday. And I'm expecting quite a bit of sunshine to start your day on Friday, but the chance of showers moves in for the second half of your day. And Saturday is looking pretty stormy with the threat of showers and storms. Behind those storms, cooler temperatures, much more seasonable temperatures for the end of May. Let's go ahead and take a look at radar this evening. It's a very quiet evening, tracking just a few clouds across the valley. That's all we've had going on tonight. A few passing clouds, and that's what we're going to see into the overnight hours. A very quiet evening and a very quiet start to your Friday. Now, what I am keeping my eye on, this is the valley's next storm system, and we're going to see this come to play Saturday afternoon and into Saturday. Saturday evening. Keeping our eye on this, it could produce some stronger storms with some stronger wind gusts as we head into the late part of the day on Saturday. But for tonight, quiet temperatures cooling off to the mid 50s and expecting sunshine for the start of your day on Friday. Temperatures in the lower to mid 60s when you head out the door tomorrow. As we go through the afternoon, you could see a few more clouds and then as we head into the late afternoon hours, so I'm expecting the chance for showers to increase. The chance of showers and storms will stick around for the evening hours on Friday, but expecting them to be spotty in nature as we head through the second part of your day on Friday. Now, Saturday morning, hopefully we'll see some sunshine for the first part of the day. Look at those temperatures. Temperatures already in the lower 70s for the start of your day on Saturday, and they'll just keep on climbing, expecting temperatures in the lower to mid 80s by the afternoon on Saturday. Here's a look at 3.30 in the afternoon. We'll start to see clouds increase as we go through the day, and the threat of showers and storms comes into play in the late afternoon and into the evening hours. Now, some of these storms could be stronger, producing lightning uh, gusts to your winds all begin this weekend keeping an eye on those storms uh, so you can be prepared for your Saturday. Now some storms could linger for the first part of the day on Sunday but expecting mostly cloudy skies for the second half of your Sunday. Temperatures still very warm in the lower, still upper 60s in Cortland, 66 in Salem, and a little bit cooler in Newton Falls at 60 degrees, just falling a few more degrees as we head into the overnight hours. 57 degrees is our low this evening, partly cloudy skies, a very quiet night. Temperatures tomorrow are going to climb to the 80s again. It's going to be another humid day. Sunshine for the first part of your day. As we near the afternoon, you'll see increasing clouds and the chance for showers and storms as we head into the afternoon hours, a high of 84 degrees for your Friday. And again, hopefully you'll see some sunshine as you're headed out the door tomorrow. Now here's a look at the rest of your weekend. Sunday, again, you could see a chance of showers for the first part of the day. Hopefully more mostly cloudy skies as we head into the afternoon. That storm system, though, is really going to cool temperatures off. On Sunday, the high is only 68 degrees, and we'll see that cooler weather stick around for the first part of the week next week. By Wednesday, Thursday, we'll be back into the 80s and expecting a few afternoon showers as we head into the second part of next week.